Tēnā koutou e te iwi, uh, ato māori ei. Um, today I thought I'd give you a bit more of a, a bit more of my backstory, um, how I got to how I am today. Um, and so I'm going to try and do it quite quick because it's easy for me to talk about myself for a long time. Um, so I I went to a Tiger Boys High School, um, did well there, enjoyed school. Um, but I then left and joined the Air Force. I was in the Air Force for a couple of years. I joined as a pilot. Um, didn't wasn't successful through the training, um, and stayed on after that uh, as a supplier. Didn't really like it, um, but didn't know what I wanted to do, um, and ended up getting into a bit of trouble, as you do when you're 17, 18, 19, and um, have open sort of license to drink as much as you like so yeah that didn't end all that well um, I realized though that I didn't want to you know I wanted to use my brain um, so I needed to go to uni so I started uni in Auckland um, and the way it was with me is that I didn't really believe or wasn't sure if I was going to be smart enough to go to uni so I um, the way I did it is I prayed because I had a uh, you know spiritual belief at that time and I and I, I mean I still do now but it was it was not long prior to that I'd had this kind of spiritual awakening that's now part of my life it's not a religious thing um, I yeah I don't want to preach about that um, just so I don't want to slam it in anyone's face but I, I have some spiritual beliefs um, anyway so I was praying every day um, and I was praying um, that if I was meant to go to uni, then I would pass and I'd keep going. And if, if I wasn't meant to go to uni, then I'd fail and then I'd go and do something else. And um, so first year, I was at Auckland. Um, I did, you know, first year subjects and managed to pass. Um, one paper I only just passed, the physics paper. But yeah, I passed everything. Um, so I thought, oh yeah, I guess I'll keep going. And um, so I kept going. And before I knew it, I'd done a degree. Um, and I'd majored in psychology and then I went, oh, what am I going to do now? And I thought, oh, well, I might as well keep going. So I started, I did a master's um, that I finished in 97 and uh, and it was good. And uh, But I think the thing I learnt by the end of it that I wasn't as thick as I thought I was. Um, and I learnt that I had some strengths and some weaknesses, so that was good. And uh, then I went out and got my first job. My first job was as a research assistant at Otago University. It was in the Higher Education Development Centre. I worked there for a year, long enough to save money for us to travel. Uh, my my girlfriend at the time, my wife now, um, she was working... What was she doing? She was doing... I think she was working in... Oh, she was working in the Dunedin study already. Yeah, so she was part of that and um, so it kind of naturally finished up for both of us and so we travelled overseas together um, went and lived in the UK for a couple of years as you do and travelled and whatnot. and um, in that time I was doing sort of desktop publishing um, write, report writing for different um, as a contractor for different investment banks and I had this epiphany about money. I realised that um, the best way for me to help my family was to um, make lots of money. Yeah, I think I'd thought something different previously, like psychology and you know other sort of things. But yeah, I realised if I want my you know my my parents to go to the doctor, if I want them to look after their teeth, really the the thing that'll do that is money. So, and that's what's limiting them. Um, up until that point, so I went, okay, how am I going to do that? All right, I need to start building businesses. So I decided, okay, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I started learning about that just by reading books, and well, it was books back then still, it was pretty much the internet, it's only pretty young. And um, I decided, come back to New Zealand, decided to start a bagel business. Started a bagel business called Bagel Express, um, it was on AUT campus uh, I mean, on Wellesley Street in Auckland and did that for three years um i at the time i'd had this idea i knew that i'd do one business and i'd um i wouldn't make much money but i'd learn a whole heap and then i'd do a second business it'd make me some money 
um, but it wouldn't make me real wealthy, but it would get me in the game, and then I'd do a third business, and that business would, um, you know, make me a heap of money. Um, and so Bagel Express did that for three years, I think, and um, at the end of three years sold it. Um, basically got in, got out, um, didn't cost me anything, paid me a salary during that time, and I learned a heap. Um, got out and then I had a, a spare coffee machine and so I was thinking what am I going to do now and I I had this idea about for a while about doing a drive through coffee and um, there are no drive through coffee in New Zealand at the time and there were also no, like Wild Bean didn't do anything, McDonald's didn't do coffee so there was very little convenience coffee and so I thought oh, okay I'll see what I can do there um, and so you know the way I thought then and I still think in some ways is is about how do I bootstrap everything? How do I do it from for cheap? So I had this coffee machine, and I bought an old van, and then I bought a an old gener I bought a generator, and so I set up a temporary drive-through, one that I could just use to test the market. So I chucked up this big sign, drive through coffee, and it was um, on Shore Road in Parnell, and uh, you know within very quick time I had a regular customer base that were coming in every day. And I was selling a decent amount of coffee every morning, sort of 50 coffees before 9 a.m. And uh, but the thing about it also is that it, it it got me to meet a whole heap of people who had influence in certain areas around Auckland City. And I ended up doing the coffee for Auckland Netball, which ended up being a big earner for me. And then um, what also happened was that I met um, Joe Caram and Joe. Um, we got together and decided to build a business and the business was called The Coffee Guy and so we um, started that together um, and yeah got that started um, brought his son on board and he Richard and he started doing a whole heap as well with us and then it did, didn't turn out so well for me in that in that regard um, Ended up taking a bit of a shaft from Joe. Um, still made money and it was still good business for me. But um, yeah, I, I learned a lot in that business around, you know, um, I guess about trust. You know, about how you have to be um, and how to what you know what you have to do in business to trust people and not to trust people. That sort of stuff. So I learned a lot there. Um, and so. I left that business, um, headed back down to Dunedin, really to go on holiday. Ended up having, um, as you do, two more children on the way. Um, and um, yeah, it was, it was uh, ended up back in Dunedin. That's how, how it all ended up. So I was back in Dunedin. So anyway, I'll, I'll leave it at that and then I'll come to a second part soon.